Hello Collective. Northern Lights of Year here. Um, so, a <laughs> couple things. Uh, it, a lot of you could be feeling the energy that's going on with your Divine Masculine. Or if you're the Divine Masculine, your Divine Feminine, flip it, switch it. Whoever's the runner. Okay, whoever's the one that's been rolling in their deep, whoever's the one that you dropped the flashlight in their hand and said go, whoever is the one that you have this deep spiritual connection with, okay? You may be feeling an intense urge to reach out to them. And I have to stress that it is very important, I keep hearing it over and over again from Spirit, to do not disturb this person. They're still in their chrysalis of transformation. There's still an ooey-gooey mess inside there. And based on what I'm seeing from many different readers all across YouTube land. Okay, I have my few that I watch. And then, every you know, I always keep my eye out for a new reader. And so, um, they, you know, readers pop up in my feed. And so, if a title catches my eye, I'll watch a reading. And it seems like pretty much all across the board, all of us energy readers are picking up on the... Divine Masculines in most cases um, that are rolling in their deep. They're, they're all their karma. They're being faced with their judgment. It's a karmic review for them. And the energy that they've been out there running around in for a long time is catching up with them. They're getting their spiritual ass whoopings. Okay. They're getting out. out they're getting spanked right now. And they are miserable okay they're up at night they're tormented they they're they've got shit going on some of them have crazy shit going on with karmics some of them got uh that they, they're losing their jobs or they've lost their jobs they don't know how they're gonna make their ends meet uh they've gotten that some of them have gotten themselves wrapped up in legal trouble some of them have gotten themselves into a situation where there could be a baby okay um, there, and lately there's a whole wave of, I, I've been, okay, I've been watching tarot for a couple of years now and I have never seen so many readers pick up on the energy of STD and I actually picked it up strong. Okay. I pick it up here and there a couple times, but, and I'll mention it if I feel like it's real, like I need to, um, and I, which I have, but it's. It seems like it's real prevalent right now. Like, it, um, whatever these divine masculines or divine these divine feminines, okay, flip it, switch it. You know what to do. Uh, whoever the runner is, as they say in tarot land, okay, that's the best way I can put it so that everybody understands it. Um, they're in that ooey gooey mess of a chrysalis right now so if you poke that and disturb that it's just it it's just gonna make a mess everywhere it okay they're not they're not through their judgment yet and i know and they're in distress they are they are they are shedding tears they're in regret they're getting pissed at themselves for allowing things to go this way to they're pissed at themselves for their behavior because they have no one else in the world to blame but themselves at the end of the day none of us do all we have is is ourselves okay we choose we can we have we have we are free to make our choices but we are not free from the consequences of said choices and consequences are piling up and it's time to pay the piper. 
And so with all that, you can feel as, as a divine feminine, you can feel their energy. You know that they're upset. You know that they're angry. You know that they can't sleep. You know that they're anxious. You know that they're, they're upset. Some of them could even be, you know, I've been, I've been, I've been seeing a lot of visions of a hole being punched in a wall. I keep seeing a vision of a hole getting punched in a wall and it's, I can't ever see his face, but it's a masculine and he's just angry. He's, he's angry and he's angry at himself for the way he's been living. It's time. It, you got to grow up sometime. And so that urge, okay, you can feel their energy. And I understand that you want, I, I can, you want to, you want to reach out to them and ask them if they're okay, because we've all been through a dark night of the soul. If you're here watching me, you've been through a dark night and you know what that's like and you, and you know that we need a friend during those times but that friend can't be you it cannot they were not your friend during your dark night okay they were not there for you and it's not a tit for tat kind of situation. Don't get it twisted. It's a simple fact that they need to find their way on their own, just like you did. They have the very same capabilities as you did to find their way. They're going to have to rely on spirit and the divine, just like you had to. And so as strong as that urge is to reach out and contact them, if you are have been vibing with the energies and resonating with the energies that have been coming out in this divine masculine, divine feminine soulmate cycle, um, do not disturb this person. Spirit is very loud about that. And I think part, you could be, yeah, okay, this, you could be feeling some other kind of energies coming from this person. This person could be sending sexual energy your way. Okay. They could be, <laughs> you could be fantasizing about this person. They could be showing up in your dream space, ready for doing sexy time. Okay. I've been hearing the last couple days that someone's been doing come to me spells. And I feel like that this masculine or this runner has learned that they have a gift. And they're starting to play with it. And the first thing that they try out is a come to me spell on divine feminine. You could be feeling that. And spell work is spell work, okay? I do not condone spell work at all. Okay, I believe in manifestation. And I think this person has been trying to manifest you back. And I've mentioned that a few times. That this person is manifesting you. But now I think they're, they figured out that they can manipulate energy if they so choose. And they're sending out come to me spells, love spells. And the reason I feel, the reason I'm here is because I've been picking up on it, but I wanted to be a hundred percent sure. <laughs> well, I got my confirmation. So I was walking through the store the other day and 
I'm just cruising along and I see the wax melters, the, you know, the, these things here. And this one was right on the very, you know, like on the top, right on the corner, like right, just right at eye level and spirit literally just drew my attention right to it. It's called Magic Spell. It says Fall in Love. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> So I went, oh, well, I wonder if it smells like my favorite perfume that I've been wearing for about two years. This is the smell my that my person knows on me, is this Victoria's Secret Love Spell. I've been wearing this one since I've known him. You see, I've had this for a little while. Open it up and gave it a whiff, and it sure as hell does. Smells just like this. It smells just like it. And so I bought all of them. Because <laughs> I've got three wax melters in my house. So now my whole house smells like Love Spell. Okay. I am in 100% in love with this scent. I've been wearing Okay, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite. And my person, okay, this is, this is all he's ever smelled. Well, there might be a couple others that I've worn, but this is my, this is my main one. And this spirit literally, like it stuck out like a sore thumb. Like it just, it just, I just went right to it. They had about eight of these things. So I just bought them all. I bought the whole little tray. And it's so funny because I uh, I've been wearing this one for a couple years, and my bestie this last year for Christmas she got me the new one, Victoria's Secret Love Spell Untamed. This one is a cherry blossom fresh peach, and then this one is forest pear and ap apricot nectar. They smell. Most people are familiar with this one, um, but they just, they're, oh, they just smell so good. So good. And so I went, <laughs> this is my confirmation. Now somebody's been dropping the love bomb number five. Love bomb number five, as Ramblin' Mike would say. <laughs> I think I've heard that before. Isn't that in a song? I know Mambo number five is a song, but it feels like there's a song or something like that caught with that title. I don't know. But this was my confirmation that, I mean, okay, because I've been feeling the energy, but I wanted to be sure that it wasn't um, just them rolling in their deep and just thinking about you a lot okay i got confirmation that somebody be dropping the love bomb number five and so let's go ahead and get a reading <laughs> let's see let us see let us see well since spell work is spell work let's go ahead and see what spiritual warfare says you got a fuzzy. Ooh. Okay, we got music at the cut. You guys could communicate through music. Sound frequencies that have the power to influence the mind, emotions, and spirit. Used to implant energies into your subconscious. Okay, we all know that I get messages, song messages from spirit. I think this person does too. Ooh, I just heard you speak to them through music. Oh, they are speaking to you through music. All them songs that I've been posting. Okay, It's Been a While by Stained. Um, I posted the Stone Sour song. Um, there's been a few. I, it feels like it's the runners, what they're going through. These, these messages through music. 
could be part of this. It could be. It could be. This person is trying to communicate with you through music. Okay. to know about this love balm number five please angels ancestors and spirit guides of the highest white light please protect me while i channel these energies please surround me in your white light in your protection please and thank you okay that feels good let's see what we got pedestal at the bottom of the deck being of the upper echelon in the spiritual community people noticing you for your gifts and giving you much jealousy and envy over it okay other than that okay we're not talking about a hater here this is someone this is this is this is your masculine Dropping the love bomb number five because I feel like they they have put you on a pedestal. You rise above. Okay, there's no one holds a candle to you. Okay. What else? What else about this love bomb? Ooh, psychic vampire. Seeks high vibing victims. Okay, so here you are. This, okay, this could be part of the reason why you're feeling drained. Drains them of their energy. Okay. I don't, just to make it clear, I don't think that this is an evil entity here. I just want to see. I'm just trying to connect some dots here. So let's just feel it out first. Let's just feel this out. Hold on. Yeah, okay, uh, we have alcohol, and then we have dreams. Oh, and fake religious. Okay, oh, there's the light worker. There you are with your peace and your spirit team. Okay, that's enough from this deck. Okay. Oh, I just heard. See, this is, okay, I didn't, I knew this wasn't this person's energy. It's this person's surroundings. That's draining them. This person is, I feel like this person has psychic vampires attached to them. They could be drinking, which lowers their uh, defenses. And these, these motherfuckers right here can attach themselves real easy. We have dreams, carries important messages for personal growth, healing, and direction. You can also receive information about people, places, or things around you. Okay, I said that you could be showing up in their dream spaces or they're showing up in yours. Okay, and but you are protected. You have a spiritual team. You're a light worker. You're peaceful. You're an earth angel. Peace and love being brought back into your life. The balance is being restored. You receive respite from drama and issues brought by enemies. Okay, you're at peace and you, you're, this is Libra season. This is all about balancing the scales and you are a light worker. Your spirit is pure. You are incarnated into this life to help the collective expand, helping to transmute the darkness into the light, using your spiritual gifts selflessly. There's a blue butterfly right there. Hmm. And then we have the spirit team. Warriors of the light who watch over you from the heavens. They bring you guidance, protection, clarity, and healing. Spirit guides, ancestors, etc. <clears throat> so you're highly, 
highly protected. And so is this person. But the fact that they're sending out love spells, okay, they, all right, they, they, like I said, I feel like, I feel like they feel a very strong connection with you. And I don't think that they're actually like doing any hubbada, ookity, bookity, voodoo, hokey, hokey pokey, you know, anything bad. I don't think it's coming from a bad place. I do not. Not, it, it's not coming from a bad place as in ill intentions. Okay. They, they are in a bad place emotionally and mentally right now. That could be why they come through as um, a psychic vampire, okay, as a draining energy, because they are in a low vibration at this point in time. And they're looking for your light. Like they they're try they want they want your energy because it's a good energy. It's gonna it's gonna make them feel better. It's gonna bring them a, it's you your energy brings them peace. And they're dreaming about you. They're thinking a lot about you. They cannot get you off of their mind. And they're also getting messages from spirit here. And it feels like spirit is bringing them messages from you. Look at her playing that violin with this music card. Okay, I feel like you are speaking to this person through music as well. They're getting messages from spirit and you your higher self, your 5D self is sending messages to this person through music. It, they, okay, and they're thinking about you. When they hear certain songs or certain messages in music, it's you. They're realizing that you're in the upper echelons of the spiritual community. They realize now that you are highly protected and you are a light worker. You're an earth angel. And you came into this person's life and collided with them to create change. And we have this fake religious card here. It says, someone who uses religion as a cover and preaches the gospel or philosophies, but does the complete opposite in real life. This person does have wings, but they're covered up in darkness. You collided with this person to free them. Okay, look. You are at peace. Your, your wings are free. You're confident in yourself. You're comfortable. Okay, she has hardly any clothes on, right? That's a, that signifies vulnerability. And she's up way up high on a on a on the top of a mountain. This person has wings too. But she has covered herself up and covered her wings up in a shawl of darkness. So masculine or feminine, okay, we do have a masculine energy here that is covering up who they really are with something that they're not. This religion they could be have been brought up in a religious family okay and so sure they you know they have faith in god and and they but that it's a strict set of rules and this person just doesn't feel like it they fit they feel like that they, they they just don't feel like it's a good fit they feel different than and they have to cover up and hide who they really are and it makes them and it put that right there, high, covering up and, and not showing the world who you really are, puts you in a low vibrational energy. It's draining. And so when, when you see someone that's comfortable in their skin, I just saw 2424, and, and, and beaming their light, that you know, that this person knows that they have, okay? This person knows they have a gift. I said. That this, it's come up in my readings too, that this masculine is realizing that 
all this time, all the their intuition that they discounted as just coincidence or whatever was actually their it was their messages from from spirit. It was their intuition, it was their guides, it was their angels guiding them. And they just it feels like this person is covering up who they really are. They are this okay, this masculine is realizing that they are also an earth angel. They're here. They came with a set of wings and wh however they were brought up or, or whatever religious background they have, they used it to cover up their beautiful wings. It tarnished them. They, they felt like they couldn't spread their wings and fly here. And I feel like, I feel like this person is drained of it. They're drained of it. And because they're in this energy, they could have someone in this energy attached to them. And it's, okay, you can't, you, say somebody's married. And they're, in an unha they're not happy in their marriage, but because of their religion, they won't leave. And that person is going to just bleed them dry. This person is getting messages from spirit through music and from you. You're a powerful light worker. With this alcohol right here, I feel like this person is coping with this right here with alcohol. And what it does is it just keep it it creates those cracks for these negative and uh for these low vibrational energies to to attach themselves. This person is trying to cope with their life. This person does not have to be married. Okay, that was just an example. It could be a long-term relationship with somebody and they maybe uh, they just feel obligated. Okay, there's some kind of obligatory tie and they drink a lot to cope with their life. But what that does is it causes the good soul to leave the body, leaving it more open to low frequency entity possession. It creates toxicity. <clears throat> so they're trying to drown out, but it's actually making it worse. <clears throat> okay. And so they're sending out love bomb number fives. They're trying to manifest you back, Collective. They are. Oh, they are. And it looks like they have some things that they need to, that they're needing to shed and release. They think a lot about it. A lot. And look, I put these two right here. He's out looking out at the sky thinking about her and she's sending him music messages. <clears throat> okay. Let's get the cosmic visions tarot out. My new favorite deck. Actually, hold on a second. <clears throat> I want to see what's popping. What's crack I like it. Ooh, we got a tornado on the cut. <laughs> love, love bomb number five coming in hot. Person could be penetrating your dream space for some sexy time. They're definitely wanting to feel your love again. They are. Oh, they are. But do not disturb this person. If you, if you love, if you 
disturb this person and reach out first, you, you're pretty much letting them off the hook easy, okay? Because they're not going to have learned their lessons, okay? Once they learn what they needed to learn, they're going to come straight back. Once they learn... That they can uncover their wings and fly. They're flying straight to you. Look at this dark and light. White and black. Yin yang energy right here. Boom. Thank you spirit. Just saw it. This is crazy. Masculine and feminine energy. He just needs to uncover his wings. And fly. This is beautiful. Okay, we got Wild Nights. Okay, there's the investments card again. I feel like this person's been investing in some, in a lot of fun time. Okay, it's already out here with this alcohol. <clears throat> but we do have an offer or invitation. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and keep these two out right there. They definitely could be spending a lot of money on alcohol. But it looks like we have an offer or invitation. This person could be trying to manifest some kind of communication here. Learning, learning experiences. What did I just say? Do not disturb this person. Because otherwise, they're not going to learn what they needed to learn. You'd pretty much be letting them off the hook easy. I got to let my cat in. I'm going to pause the video. Okay. <clears throat> so, do not disturb this person. Because you're just going to interfere and interrupt their learning. Okay. They they need to learn. And, and once they do, they're coming straight to you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's the whole purpose of all this whole connection. And I'm looking at this and it's like, ding, light bulb. And then there's the music. Okay. We've got music out here. Two references to music out here. And then there's some musical notes. And then look, there's a magnet right to the clock. And then there's a world. Okay. Divine timing. Cycles got to close out. Learning lessons. Closing out cycles so new ones can begin. All within divine timing. They, okay, that magnet. It, there's a magnetic pull, right? They're, they'll come right to you. They've got some inner child healing to do. That's a protractor. That's a D, that's like a molecule. They could, oh, I just heard deep cellular healing when I when I looked at that. They okay, you do not disturb this person. They're an ooey gooey mess inside of there, and that with it with with divine timing. Okay, when they're ready, they will come right to you for a new cycle. They could bring you flowers. Yeah, just, okay, stay unbothered. Do, do not bother this person. Just keep doing you, boo. Just keep focusing on you. Keep doing your thing. Keep growing and glowing, baby. All right? That's what Spirit says. Yeah, we've got a waste of time, okay? It's a waste of time. It pretty much... Oh, I just heard. You'll reset the clock if you disturb this person. It's pretty much everything, all the heat... Okay, yes. If you disturb this person, all of your healing and all of their... It, okay, it's all for naught. You're pretty much just going to make a mess and going to have to clean it up and start all over. Do not disturb this person. Ooh, 
Yeah, I said legal troubles earlier. Yeah, this person could be in fear of some trouble that they might have got themselves into because they were following temptation. They were in low vibrational energy here. But it looks like now we've got a masculine here that's getting some spiritual guidance. Okay. He could have stepped into some trouble here. He might be, you know, doing a heckin' concern. Because he he can't come he <laughs> that could be part of the energy that you're feeling that he's sending out and that he's actually doing a heckin' concern. He's worried. He's he's not sleeping at night. <clears throat> not only is he thinking about you, but he's also got you know, I feel like he's got himself wrapped up in some kind of legal troubles with a karmic here. <clears throat> he could have could have went to jail or could be going to jail spending loose with his money out partying having fun fell into some trouble with a karmic and it's all a learning experience okay you gotta it, it's a waste of time to disturb this person right now okay i feel like you stay unbothered i feel like you're wanting to send out a message or something here and spirit says just Keep work, keep focusing on you. Okay, this person is getting messages from spirit. They are. Oh, they are. They are. Let them come to you. Let them come to you. Because they will. Once they have once they have figured all this out, you're you're gonna be the only one that they can come to. Okay. Let's get some tarot out. I'm in love with this deck. I cut it to the Eight of Pentacles. These uh, represent prosperity. Doing some work. Effort. Ooh, holy shit. Check out what's at the bottom. The Divine is at work here this is this deck has an extra card and it's that one right there the divine is at work here do not disturb this person the divine is working on him i promise i'm gonna go ahead and keep those two out that was incredible yeah look there's the star This person is, okay, at their reflecting pool. They're getting their spiritual guidance. The divine is at work here. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. The divine is at work here. And bees represent prosperity. The universe and the divine always operates for the greater good. Always. And the universe is bringing balance. Masculine and feminine energy, yin-yang energy right here. This, this masculine is getting messages from spirit that are going to uncover his beautiful wings. This is all about, this looks like uh, light and shadow sides, okay? Finding the balance between our light aspect and our shadow aspect. Leave it to the divine. Look at these bells, okay? 
somebody somewhere must be talking about. Still getting it. I think it's the universe that tolls the bell. I sure do. Okay, what else? Seven of Wands. This person is working on their vibration. You see that? They're working on honing in their intuition. They're working on what kind of vibration they put out. And it looks like they're protecting themselves. It looks like they uh, have pulled themselves back out of the world for a minute. And they're just trying to find their balance, find, get centered they're doing a lot of thinking. they listening to a lot of music. I think that they have been out there running around having a whole bunch of fun. And it ended up being a whole waste of time. Okay, they, they could have been using all this time during your separation to do healing. But they're just now getting to that point. They are just now getting to the point. To where <laughs> they realize that uh, they've been on the wrong path. Ten of Wands. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Out here running around. Okay. I just think this card is so funny with how he's got that wand right there covering up his wand. <laughs> it looks like he's coming at your wand first. Okay. That's that sexual energy. Could be feeling it. But it's a burden, okay? This is this person is feeling burdened and weighed down by what by their previous actions in nine, Knight of Wands energy. They were just moving too fast. They 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 were, didn't sit they didn't sit down long enough to think about anything, and now they drowning. They drowning in it, and you can feel that. But it looks like they're trying to. It looks like they're, the divine has stepped in here. The divine is working on this person. This could be you right here making your, you know, thinking about your hopes, wishes, and dreams. But I'm telling you, it could be both of you. And I think this person is trying to find some balance here. Trying to trying to center themselves. Because they've been through some shit here. I feel like they had some hard lessons to learn here. Yeah, look, there's the emperor. Coming in right under the divine. Yeah, look, okay, there's the five of cups right there. Bottom of the deck. He's in regret. <clears throat> he feels bad. He's thinking a lot. He's realized he's wasted a lot of time. He's realizing that he's got a lot to learn. And I feel like that he's taking some time to think. And he doesn't feel so good about it. I feel like the divine stepped in here. And like I said... You can feel this. You already know, High Priestess. You already know. This person, I feel like with this under the star right here, I feel like and with the divine stepping in on this emperor, I feel like the, the divine is making sure that this masculine understands that they're getting messages from spirit too. They have intuition that they need to be following. The this divine is working on this person to pick their head up and focus on their hopes, wishes, and dreams. Spend some time at the reflecting pool. Not buried with your hands in your knees or your head in your knees. Open your open your third eye. This moon phase, something about this moon phase right here. Okay, we just had a full moon in Aries. I feel like this person is, I just saw 4433. I feel like this person's intuition has been 
sparked, okay? Ding, there's that light bulb right there. Okay, I feel like a light came on recently. Yeah, okay, we got a Father of Wands right here. It came out in the reverse. Let me turn him around so you can check him out. This Father of Wands has a lion, okay? It came out in the reverse. I feel like there's, okay, this is telling me that the, there's fear here. They're feeling defeated. I feel like whatever all this that they done got themselves wrapped up in over here has got them feeling defeated. They could be wrapped up in some legal troubles. They could, uh, involving a karmic, they're, they invested all their, they threw all their money away partying and now they broke. They're in fear of the future and I'm also picking up on job loss. Eight of Cups. It's under the Ten of Wands. Those look like dragonfly wings. Dragonflies represent change. Oh, sorry. <laughs> My hand drifted. I'm trying to let you guys check the cards out. There's eight broken cups down there. And this, this dragonfly fairy woman is headed straight to the mountains following her intuition towards the Nine of Cups. It's under the Ten of Wands. Releasing. This, shedding this heavy weight. Okay, I just heard that that shawl may be very thin fabric and very light, but it's oh so heavy. Not being able to be who you truly are. I feel like you are guiding this person to be comfortable in their own skin. There's fear. They've built walls up so high around themselves trying to, trying to cover up who they really are on the inside because it could be that they, you know, there, it could be that they were brought up religious, but they feel more spiritual with the divine right here and the emperor. I feel like this, this masculine is realizing that he is indeed a divine masculine. It says right here, he fell right under the divine. I feel like this masculine is realizing for the first time that he is a divine masculine and every divine masculine has a counterpart, a divine feminine, you. And now he's done fucked up here. So that's why it's so important for you to not interrupt or disturb this person's chrysalis. <clears throat> Okay, let's get some more. Queen of Cups. Mother of Cups. This is the Queen of Love right here. She carries the biggest cup. This is the most love in the deck. She, she her love is as deep as the is, is as deep as the deepest ocean. And her love comes straight from the divine. I feel like, oh, with the Queen of Cups falling right here in this row, I feel like you taught this person with the help of the divine, okay, that to teaching this person about love. Whoa, did you guys see that? It just flew. Let's see if I can get it. We have the Six of Swords. This Oh, wow, this is an interesting image. 
Okay, so the boat isn't even in the river. It is hung by this cluster of butterflies being flown. Raising their vibration. I Okay, thank you, spirit. See? Elevating. Evolving. Detaching. Going to calmer waters. Detaching from... This energy right here, coming out of the Five of Cups energy, following intuition. Headed straight to the sun. This is a massively transformative period. See, okay, I said, do not disturb this person's chrysalis. Boom, butterflies. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. This person is going through many, 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 many changes right now. Many. And what it's going to do is it's going to elevate them. If you cut that down and cut them, cut them loose and let them off the hook early, it's okay. They're, they're just going to fall in here and get swept away. And then it's all just been a waste of time. Do not disturb this person. Spirit. is working on it. No matter how strong the urge is, no matter how many love bomb number fives they drop on you, okay, they need to sit in it and learn their lessons before they come to you. They know, oh yeah, they know that you can feel their energy. Break the cycle. If you guys have a pattern, okay, say you guys have done this a couple times and it seems to be have developed a pattern, break the pattern. If you're the one that always breaks the ice, leave it to this person this time. Go along your merry way. Keep focusing on yourself. Keep working on you. And the, you will mirror that energy to your partner. To your person. We have the Son of Pentacles. That's the Knight of Pentacles. Look. Look at all that work being done. There's ants on that pinnacle right there. The Knight of Pentacles is about a long journey. There's work being done here. Okay, you sowed a seed. That Ace of Pentacles, that the Son of Pentacles, that the Knight is holding, that's a seed that you planted. He's working on it. He's following his intuition from the divine, from the star. You could, I think you are the star, divine feminine. I do. I think you're the star. You're the guiding light with your intuition and you planted a seed and work divine is working on that seed. And he's holding it. He's got a hold of it and it's got growth. Okay. So do not disturb this person. They will come straight to you. There's a magnet right there. Okay. What else? Yeah. Okay, we got the queen of pentacles. I'm telling you, with them bunnies right there on her shoulder, you, yeah. Um, you, you can, okay, this person, you can feel this person's sexual energy coming at you from all directions, I'm telling you. Look, okay, you are incredibly beautiful. You are abundant. You're secure in yourself. Okay, yeah, two bunnies, one on each shoulder. Okay, you definitely be feeling this person's energy. Those are the come to me spells. Just keep, okay, she's got some, a couple arrows. Looks like it's pointing down right at her third eye. Telling you to focus on that big old pinnacle down there. You've got it. You know this person's energy, what kind of energy they're sending to you.
and he could have yeah, this th look at this this is so funny look at this i know this isn't the meaning of the seven of wands but i'm looking at the pictures this per <laughs> this masculine is sitting here sending out those arrows look like they're going out okay sending energy out and feeling defeated because you just you know it's there but you're not reacting to it <laughs> it's like you're let just hanging you're just letting it hang out there and tell him you're he it's basically telling you his dirty little secrets what he wants to do to you you're listening but you're just not reacting and so he oh he feels like his come to me spells aren't working and so that's why he keeps throwing them yeah look at you nine of pentacles just all up minding your own business <laughs> unbothered <laughs> Okay, one more spirit, one more. Okay, yeah, we got a five of swords right here. Ten of wands, eight of cups, five of swords. I feel like, I okay, I, first thing I heard when I saw this card was a fall from grace. With that crow falling right there. And it looks like this. With the black wings. With Okay, these are white wings with a black shawl over them. Like a mesh. I don't know what they call that. But it looks like this. A fall from grace. I feel like... Okay. I feel like if this person was brought up in a religious background and they feel and they're and they are realizing that they are more spiritual and they they fit in better or not fit in but they just feel more like themselves I feel like it's a they connect better with our with source through spirituality rather than religious and their family could consider that a fall from grace and they could be upset there's five of swords is about being short-sighted and not okay this person is create has created a living hell for themselves by not being authentic from the very beginning as soon as they started realizing that they felt that they were different they but they didn't they 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 kept it hidden they they hid their wings this person i feel like we have the high priestess right here at the center of the spread with the star and the knight of pentacles. There's work being done here. This person is learning to trust their intuition. And the first thing I heard when I saw this was a fall from grace. And I feel like it's because this person has taken this off. They want peace. They want inner peace. They're done trying to live for other people. And it's going to upset people around them there's there's short-sightedness here but there's also um pettiness here okay people could jab this person low blows right um you're gonna go to hell okay no this person is realizing that this right here was the vampire and this could be this karmic right here. That this doctrine kept them trapped in. Could be. I'm not going to lie. It looks eerily like his karmic <laughs> I just gotta say what's at the bottom yeah seven of swords look at this talking out both sides of their mouth this is okay they 
they feel spiritual and but they're raised religious and they just so they're covering up who they really are and talking out both sides of their mouth they don't know who they are and the seventh sword is a blank space right in the this person's chest okay the truth is missing it's like a missing piece there's the truth is gone here the, this person, like I said, was not being authentic. And therefore, that makes them two-faced. And they behaved in Seven of Swords energy. When it came to you. Oh. Okay, we got a Mother of Wands. That's a Queen of Wands. I normally don't take the Queen of Wands as a third party, but in this instance, I am. Because we have her right here. And I feel like this is her right here, too. Oh, phone's going to die. Hold on. Let me get my charger on there before I, before I lose you. Hold on. Sorry for the jiggles. Okay. Phew, that was a close one. This Queen of Wands could be this uh, third party, a uh, third party at this point. Or you were the third party and they were in a relationship with this person. They're karmic, right? The one that they were stuck with because of a doctrine that they could they had to cover who uh, cover who they really were. We have the Knight of Swords. He's look at that. There's a wasp right there. Wasps sting. He looks like he's trying to cut out and swat away that wasp. He wants ten of cups. Those ele Look at the elephants. Okay, that's longevity. That's wisdom. For the long haul. Mate for life type shit. Having a family. Missed out on an opportunity of a lifetime because they were in Knight of Wands energy. They had the opportunity to grow something of reciprocal value here. Something that could bring them joy. They had it right there in the palm of their hands. They had a decision to make and the path that they chose we have the devil with the judgment card. They chose the path that kept them bound. And the fact that they're bound has made them extremely unhappy. And they're, and they're looking at themselves. Look, that looks like a negative down here. That's that black and white. looking at the negative shadow aspects of ourselves. And you've got the divine sending, sending information down. We've got the moon here. Secrets revealed. Emotions hidden. Things that have been kept hidden for so long being shown and it was given by the divine this masculine sees it now they're being faced with a decision to make what's under the devil ten swords okay I'm telling you this lifestyle and I feel like it has to do with a religious background and I'm not knocking religion okay not at all however you however we feel closest to source is how we should do that and I feel like this person was raised in a religious family and it was kind of pretty much like force fed to them and they just they feel like it's just not their mission it just they just don't feel like it's their purpose they they feel like they have a different they're get their they, they have a different connection with spirit with with a with source they just have a different kind and i feel like they're listening to a lot of music they're doing a lot of thinking 
Okay, I feel like they're trying, I feel like they're getting messages from their spirit team. I do, because they've been doing a lot of praying. They've gotten themselves in some kind of trouble, and I feel like they were, they, they asked the divine. The emperor asked the divine for some kind of assistance, and they got a message back. They got an answer. They heard something. And this masculine went, oh, you guys are real. And I feel like there's been a betrayal here. Okay. This, this right here kept this person trapped and had them cover up their wings. They couldn't be who they were truly meant to be. And it kept them trapped in a situation that kept them extremely unhappy. And it was toxic and it hurt them. And they just took it. Over and over again, I feel like this person is ready to set themselves free. That heart has been in a cage for way too long. Trapped. Because we got a two of cups right here. This is a true love connection. A healing kind of love. This is a divine connection right here. And there and this is all about getting together, seeing each other again. We have the sun. That's a yes card. And then look, we got the daughter of wands right behind it. That's the page. Do not disturb this person. A message will come through. They'll come straight to you. I'm telling you. We do have the Nine of Wands. Okay. They are going to be a wounded warrior. They're going to be coming out. You know. Okay, come out of some shit. But they still standing. And that white tiger right there. With this high priestess right here. At the middle of the spread. Okay. I've showed. I know I've showed you guys my white tigers. From my. Uh, wild unknown decks it's all about intuition they're finding and following their intuition they're finding out just how powerful they are and it looks like they're kind of hiding behind their their wall there so they may be a little okay when they come out when when they come out when they come to you they could be nervous, okay? They could be. That could be what these bunnies are right here on your shoulder too, okay? You know that they have this intense sexual desire for you, but you know they are also extremely anxious and nervous about coming towards you. You're hearing it both. You're, hear you're hearing and feeling it all. Yeah, this person is overwhelmed. We got the seven of cups right here, but I feel like, okay, this person has, you know, many things that they're responsible for. And I feel like, I, I, I feel like they're trying to juggle too much and that's why they're going to be showing up as a nine of wands, wounded warrior here, tired, but intuition on point. We have the 10 of pentacles. Okay. I know I saw the Ten of Cups out here somewhere. Where did I see the Ten of Yeah, it's right here. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, baby. You can't beat that shit. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and a Two of Cups. What else do you need? It don't get no better than that shit right there. What was at the top? Yeah, Three of Swords. The hanged man. Okay. So right now, I'm telling you, do not disturb this person. They are hanging from their, they're hanging in their chrysalis under, undergoing a massive transformative phase. It's painful. Okay. Do not disturb this person. They are healing their heart. And that eyeball on this heart indicates that they're into, that their heart chakra is helping them to open up their third eye. 
They're allowing them, oh, they are allowing themselves to see with their heart rather than their brain or their wand. Do not disturb this chrysalis. Do not try and cut them down from that hangman tree. Yeah, father of swords. Look at this shit. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Aries. We have Aquarius. We have the high priestess, which is Cancer, Libra, Pisces. We have... Those are the majors. This person is going to come to you with a clear mind. Clear decisions. Can you hold on just a minute, sir? My cat wants outside. He's going to show up with his mind with a clear head. Do not disturb this person. Let him show up. Holy shit, there's the there's the queen of swords right there. Boom. You guys are a match. There was there is a magnet between you. He will free himself with that eagle. You just keep li getting listening to spirit. Keep listening. He will take that sword and cut himself down when he's healed his heart. And he will come straight to you. Whew. All right. Um, I want to go ahead and grab from my Mystic Moons. And then we'll close. I just saw stuck. Yep. Yeah, see? This person is, they are. They're in hangman right now. They are, they are doing a, getting a fresh perspective, getting a different perspective on some shit. I think spirit put them there. The divine did stepped in spirit spirits at work here the divine is at work you just keep working on your manifestations yeah i just saw the numbing card i feel like they were all this time they've been out here running around and i feel like they have been strung up Yeah, there's grief right there. I'm telling you, you yeah. look at look at this shit. Okay, I can't make this up. I said you can feel this masculine's energy. That says received. Okay, he's sent. You can feel that he's in distress, and you can feel it. But we have lessons being learned here. He, okay, let this person. Let this person learn their lessons. We have admired, okay? You inspire this person. They've watched you go through a transformational period with those butterflies there. And they are just, they are just watching you in, in how graceful and how beautifully you got through it. How you handled it all. And there will be an offer. There's an offer coming because they can't stop thinking about you. Look, <laughs> look how hard he's gripping onto that. Okay, this person is, has not let go of your energy. This person is still holding on to, you, to your energy. And it's all about divine timing. In divine, in, when, the, when the divine feels like that this person has learned their lessons, they'll come right to you. The divine, the divine is blocking this person from coming to you. Seven of Wands. And then there's that Knight of Wands, or the Nine of Wands with the hide, you know, hiding behind the wall. Yeah, Unawakened came out with devotion. Okay. Yeah. I feel like they, okay, they were. The person was dead ass asleep for a long time. And then there was a, a, a light. And it was you. You come along and showed them unconditional love. And they had it right there in the palm of their hands. Where is that card? 
right there. There was a different card. Hold on. I done buried it now. Okay, maybe not. I'm not sure what I'm... I don't even remember what I was looking for. But they had it right there in the palm of their hands. And there's a regret. And so that's part of the energy that you're feeling. There's been a, uh, a light lit up here. And didn't it? now they're ascending. They're finding their way. Okay, it started out as a candlelight, and now they're finding their way to the sun. I feel like this person's going to emerge soon. Yeah, look at that. There's the return. Boom. With a new understanding. Like I said, let them learn their lessons. Do not disturb this person. Okay. They're, they're looking up to the divine for answers, and they will. Okay, we have our own free will. Can't ever predict free will, but I really do feel like that they're going to choose their own free will over this shit right here. And they're going to come right to you. Yeah, look, I said, keep doing you, boo. And you're mirroring that right to your to your masculine and he will do the same you got to mirror the image you, you got to mirror what you want to see during this pause yeah <laughs> look there's the fifth dimension okay you guys are already together in the 5d keep sending this person love keep sending this person light keep telling them that they got this they okay they can hear you too uh i didn't i mean i didn't pick up i just feel like that this person is <laughs> you know messing around with a little bit of manifestation to try and draw you in but i feel like the divine feminine needs to hold strong and let this masculine come in because that's the only way he's gonna know all the lessons that he needed to know about this connection in order for it to work in order for there to be balance i love you guys i'm gonna leave this one here i wish you the best good luck peace love and light